What's up, everyone? I'm here live with one of our other participants, uh, Jared McDonald here. Can you tell us a little bit about you know who you are, university, age, major, first off? Definitely, for sure. So uh, again, I'm Jared McDonald. I'm reigning from Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, or colloquially IUPUI. Um, I'm going into, this is my senior year, uh, and I'm an IT major, and I think that's all you asked? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So your team, I believe, is called Nightwatch. Is that right? That's correct. So um, inspired by Bobby Knight is kind of where we're going uh, here. I love it, love it. Um, it's a mental health dashboard for professionals to get a quick IoT-enabled kind of high-level Excel spreadsheet in a way um, for you to get quick analytics on your players. Oh, that's fantastic. Are you, just out of curiosity, are you leveraging any of the industry partners here? Definitely. Um, biggest one we've been relying on here is IBM. Okay. So we've gone full serverless, uh, full IBM cloud. So we're hosting in a object storage is where the front end is uh, placed. We're using Kubernetes yeah. to manage our uh, SQL server. And then we're also using their containerization platform for the Python Flask backend. That's awesome. Just out of curiosity, how's it been engaging with the IBM team here? Oh, they have been tremendous. So uh, we've also been using Watson, which is one of their proprietary um, machine learning yep. algorithms. And with Watson, we uh, had a lot of hiccups along the way. It's a brand new technology for us. So it was very important that we kind of figure that out. And they were able to help us uh, get going. They showed us some examples. And then they helped us debug a little bit too. Yeah, and that's what I love about kind of this conglomeration between students and participants like yourself, as well as industry leaders, that real hands-on experience with some cutting edge technology from some big names like IBM. Definitely. And it's it's been very cool to uh, just have them, you know, right next to us. If we have a question, I got stuck on a Kubernetes configuration and you know, usually you're reading through the docs for 20, 30 minutes yep. and hey, I'm stuck on this. How can I how can I get this fixed? Yeah, because to your point, I mean this is a crash course, it's 48 hours and, and the last thing you want to do is be scanning a code for 30 minutes for one semicolon or one, you know, hiccup that you may have not seen that they may see just through a quick glance too. Definitely. And that's been a huge thing as well. You know, we were up until six AM last night and the night before and <laughs> Uh, one of the big things we would do is I would just read line by line my code to one of my teammates and just talking through it, you really yeah. find a lot of those errors. But yeah. staying up that late, you run into a lot more bugs than you usually do. Yeah. How has this experience been for you? It's been really awesome. This is um, my first hackathon. Okay. So it's been really interesting. This is honestly how I spend most of my weekends, but having the ability <laughs> to do it in person with a team has been awesome. And, and just, when there's prizes on the line too, it never hurts, right? Definitely. No, Changes I, your weekend mood. Very exciting. So usually I'm writing a bunch of open source code where uh, hopefully some developers see it, but now we get to write some open source code that hopefully we can win some prizes as well. Yeah, absolutely. So it sounds like you've been staying up late. Are you sleeping here too? Or are you going off? Or uh, Luckily, one of my uh, uh, teammates is actually a Butler student, so oh, I've been sleeping go. in the dorm. But uh, it's not sponsored by Bang Energy, but Bang Energy and Red Bull have been keeping us going. <laughs> I so. can imagine. I remember those days too. Uh, you know, so how are you feeling? You know, so I think the pencils down, code freeze was at 3 p.m. How are you guys feeling good? Is it working? Definitely, yeah. Um, we got about 95% rough and running, so yep. our front end doesn't have quite the API back end we want, but pretty much otherwise, our API is working great, our SQL uh, procedures are working, and our Flask back end is working great with Watson. So. Overall, you know, I wish we could have had, you know, another 20, 30 minutes, but I think that's yeah. always going to be the case. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you were able to accomplish what you could in this short time frame and, and utilizing technology like the, like IBM is no easy feat. We know how complicated that can be because it is such an, an industry-leading technology. So kudos to you guys and kind of your team. And, and all, honestly, just hope the best for you guys. It sounds like you guys have a really cool technology and looking forward to hear from it here soon, brother. Gotcha. Awesome. Thank well, you. I appreciate it for you joining me and uh, all the best of luck. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.